everybody. We're back with the author of Madam Speaker, Susan Page. Have you sent her a copy? <laughs> I did send her a copy of the book when I first got it a couple weeks ago. Uh, and and uh, she, <laughs> she hasn't told me what she thinks of the book, but she did let me come back and interview her last week which I thought was a very good sign. She let me come in and interview her with my colleague, Ledge King, from, from USA Today. And it was my first chance to talk with her about the events of January 6th, uh, because the book had been done, really completed at the point of that insurrection. And she told me that she told me that she was up presiding over the House on January 6th, and that the security folks came up and said, you have to go. And she didn't take it seriously. She took it so with such lack of seriousness, she left her phone up there because she thought she would be right back. And I asked her if that mob had caught up with her, would they have killed her? And she said, yes, that was what they were setting out to do. But then she said, now remember, she is 81 years old. She said, they would have had a battle on their hands because I'm a street fighter. And then she lifts up her foot and points to her four inch stilettos and says, besides, I could have used these as a weapon. She was originally rumored to be leaving after 2016 because she thought that uh, Mrs. Clinton was going to be mm -hmm. elected, and then she stuck around. Um, given that uh, Biden is now in, there's some sense, some sense of restoration of normality uh, from her point of view. How longer? How much longer do you think she's going to stay in office? I think this will be her last term as Speaker. Uh, you know, I think it will be kind of a natural time. She's very, very eager to get these big measures through that uh, President Biden wants to get through the infrastructure plan by the 4th of July. Uh, but I think after that, there's, there is going to be a transition to the next generation of leadership in the House. She has, after all, held power uh, as House leader uh, of Democrats longer than anybody since Sam Rayburn. Uh, it's a really and it's been a historic period of, of, of turmoil and conflict. Uh, so I think that this is her valedictory term. Well, Susan, thanks so much for being here. And I, I do want to point out that I was looking in the index to see whether I uh, appear in here. I do not, but George Clooney <laughs> does. And I forgive you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry. The book, Madam Speaker, is available now. Susan Page, everybody. We'll be right back.